Hello, today I want to show you guys how I maintain and take care of these crochets. So last night I washed my hair in the front. I washed my whole head just in the shower. I um, got my head, I put a scarf and bonnet on my head and only exposed this front part here. Okay, and so I got my head under the water, that part, shampooed it up. And this is the shampoo I use. It's currently my favorite shampoo. Shea Moisture's Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow Shampoo. And their deep treatment mask, um, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil one, is everything. Go and get it. Yes, especially if you're a type 4 natural like me. Anyway, so I um, shampooed it with my fingers. just all up in there because it was just getting flaky from dry scalp and gel. So then I... Um, Rinsed it all out, blotted it, you know, with a towel, and uh, my scalp has a tendency to be really dry. Like, I use heavy stuff on my scalp. Olive oil is great. It gives me um, nourishment, but it's it doesn't really keep my scalp moisturized and flake-free. Um, I will say, I did have a problem with dandruff before I discovered um, that castor oil and coconut oil are antimicrobial. So a lot of the stuff on your scalp that contributes to dandruff, it, you know, it combats that. And so when I'm regularly oiling my scalp with castor oil or coconut oil, I don't really have a problem with dandruff. But I haven't been doing that lately, so scalp's been flaking up. So anyway, after I got out of the shower, I put a little raw shea butter. And I'll just tell you, I don't trust that yellow stuff. It's white. I always use the white castor oil because sometimes, I mean, shea butter, because the yellow stuff is not always the real deal. Sometimes it's an imposter. I learned that right here on YouTube. <laughs> and then I also use a little bit of this. Um, so I put those things on my fingers and just kind of rubbed it like this and rubbed it into the parts. And I did it back too. Actually, I did my whole scalp with the shea butter, I forgot. Then I tied it down and went to bed. So today I'm going to do my usual moisturizing routine, which is um, I spray my my hair with a spray bottle that contains water and this as I am leave-in conditioner. It's a good leave-in. It's not my favorite. My favorite uh, leave-in conditioner is Kinky Curly Night Today, and I also do like that Giovanni Direct. Um, but this is what I have right now, and it's good. So here's the process. Take one ponytail down at a time. I probably should wear a towel, but. All right, so this is very similar to what I show you in my video on box braids, how to protect your edges and care for your scalp. So I spray a little water and leave-in conditioner. And I rub that in. And I'll go through. I'm really not spraying that much. It looks like it, but my nozzle is on a uh, low. So there's not much coming out. All right, my braid pattern only lets me go back so far. So I do the sides first, and then I do the back. All right, water, water, water is what you need. All right, so that's that half. Next, I take my Nozzle, this is actually a color applicator bottle, whatever, it has the nozzle on it. And this contains um, castor oil and olive oil. You put whatever oils your hair likes. Just squeeze that out. And I like that nozzle because where my braid pattern gets a little complicated in the back, I can squeeze in oil where I need to pretty easily. even getting it in and beneath the braids when need be. And 
this whole process doesn't take very long at all. Alright, so I'm going to do this other side. I'm going to put, put this side back up. Where's my rubber band? Alright, I'm going to put this side back up. I'm going to do this side and the back, and then I'll come back and show you how I lay my... <laughs> okay, so, take a little water on my fingertips. Re-wet these edges. Take a little oil on my fingertips. Slick up these edges. And my fave, the Olive Oil Eco Styler Gel. I don't use too much of this because I don't like having to wash out flakes all the time. Alright, so I'll rub that down with my fingers. If I want to give my edges some kind of shape, that's too much. Then I do that. I don't have, my hairline is interesting, so I usually gel my hair to where I have the appearance of more of a hairline than a, <laughs> more attractive of a hairline than I actually have. Whatever. Alright, so now I'm going to tie my edges down, do my makeup, and come back. Is my camera cro crooked? Alright, I'll be back and show you guys the final product in a minute. I think this hair, dang, I broke my rubber band. I think this hair lasts so long, you know, stays looking fresh for so long because I don't with it much I mean I literally like this little bit of frizz I will cut that off but that just started so I shake it and then if I'm going to pin it I pin it if I'm not this is it I don't fool with it a whole lot but as you can see my edges turned out just fine after um, washing you see that everything's laid down just like it needs to be Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear it like this today. I ain't got no quit in me. Whoa. Whoa. I'm gonna bust my scissors out today and get to trimming. Because the back, I still haven't fixed from when I first cut it. Kind of jacked it up. <laughs> my teacher told me I wouldn't be nothing. Thanks for watching. You guys are great. You're the best. Peace.